Hey everyone, this is TI Kevin83, and we are watching a race of the original Japanese release of Pokemon Red and Green. And the race is going to be between Goddess Maria and Cotton. And we're going to be seeing Goddess and Maria and Cotton do the no save corruption run of Green NSC. So you'll see Goddess Maria now is going here with the uh, Green NSC run. She's just doing the basic intro strats that you would see from any other run. Um, I don't see Cotton's continuing. We may need to do a restart. I will I will just follow along and keep you guys updated on what's going on there. There could just be out of sync video feeds too, so we'll see how that's going. Alright, we're doing a restart here. Uh, I do see Cotton starting... Oh, okay. I, th I think we're we're getting the idea now, so... Uh, we are just restarting and getting everyone lined up to start at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, this is a any percent no save corruption run of the original Pocket Monsters Pokemon Red Green release from Japan, where there's a couple different glitches we'll be seeing here that we don't usually see in the English release of the game. So to see that live in a race should be very exciting here as we're getting the restart going again between Goddess Maria and Cotton. Alright, we've got Goddess Maria starting the run here, and 
we're going to be seeing that classic red-green intro, but uh, we're seeing a default name picked, and that usually happens in the glitched categories because in order for the fewer characters of a custom name to outweigh the amount of time it takes to pick uh, them out, it, you need to be playing for much longer. Now, we need to get the potion here in the PC because we need to have items in our bag to perform the select glitch. And now we have to go trigger the little oak cutscene bringing us to the lab. And now that we're in the lab, we're going to have the usual intro fight, but we will see a picking of Bulbasaur as the starter. And the Bulbasaur starter, I believe, is relevant for part of the glitching, but uh, I'm not a, I'm not 100% sold on that part. I, I did more study on the execution of what's called the Doko Kashira door glitch, which we're going to be seeing a little bit later into the run here. So to get to the point of doing the no save corruption glitches in green, we're a little bit deeper. It, it's not quite available yet at the start of the run where we're at here. Uh, so on uh, Goddess Maria's stream, we'll see Bulbasaur fighting the Charmander. Looks like a lot of growl hits are happening, so just taking a lot of hits to knock down that Charmander. And there's a win for Bulbasaur. Interesting, I, I don't think we have a Bulbasaur pick. Uh, on the right from Cotton, we have uh, look what looks like a Squirtle pick there. But Maria is going to... Uh, Goddess Maria is going to need to do a little bit more... Oh, that's not actually... That's not even a Squirtle. That's a, that's a Charmander pick. Squirtle being the center Pokeball, so... We're seeing a completely different route between Goddess Maria and Cotton on that aspect. But um, the, the Doka Kashira door glitch, it can't be executed until after having obtained the parcel. So we are just on our way to get the parcel and then we can execute the glitch once we get back into Pallet Town. So we're going to be looking to get an encounter in the grass on the way back in a very specific spot. And when we get that encounter, we're going to have the select glitch happen. Now the select glitch is where we use the select button to swap moves around, but we don't actually use it for that function. We just hit the select button in a very specific scenario. And in red and green in the original release here, that breaks the party terminator, which is what makes the game uh, think that you have Pokemon past your second Pokemon slot. So you see there, Goddess Maria specifically searching for an encounter in the grass. Now you'll see the select glitch being executed where we go into the items and then we hit select on the item and then a movement of a Pokemon in the party happens and now we have party underflow. And this also happens in the overworld to make the uh, poison counter effect all the memory addresses past the normal six Pokemon. All that extra memory is also treated as Pokemon, uh, including the poison counters. So the all, all of the rest of the memory is having the fake HP values of various Pokemon decremented by the poison counter if the poison counter looks like it's set on those fake Pokemon. And this allows us to warp from the rival house to a different place because the 
right side HP value for one of those fake Pokemon is the destination of Rival's house. And then we saw several repetitions of that manipulation of the destination tile for a warp happen and then finally end up in the Hall of Fame. And we're going to be seeing Cotton uh, executing the same thing here soon, too, hopefully. So, a little delay on Cotton's stream, but that's not too big a deal. We can we should be able to see the exact same kind of sequence of inputs and execution to get that select glitch. All right, we do have that encounter now, so now we should see the select glitch happen. And now that we've had select glitch and we have party underflow, we're using that extra walking to continue decrementing the HP of a Pokemon that has its poison counter set to true. It's the 199th Pokemon in your Pokemon inventory, and now the wrong warp goes to a specific spot where we can now trigger a different wrong warp to take us uh, somewhere else we want to go. And just this, this um, successive series of wrong warps allows us to eventually end up in the Hall of Fame. And there it is. It looks like we have both runners now through to the Hall of Fame. Goddess Maria and Cotton both executing that Doko Kashira door glitch, that classic, only available in Japan. They patched it out for the international release. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's been Pocket Monsters, red and green, the original Japanese release.